Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. We are just leaving this fly and hook up here. And then we In are... 300 uh, feet, take the entrance to the left on US 75 South. Yeah, we're going to go towards our pickup place. That's right. That's the plan anyways. I've been sitting there for a good while watching the uh, Google map there to see how the traffic is and it sure don't seem to be lightening up anytime soon so I said you know what that's enough we got to go down there and I can't Continue be sitting here all day long for 19 miles. so uh, we're going to start making our way into Dallas we'll see if we can get our load on already called him and asked him how to get in there and made sure that you know that was correct so uh, I generally don't do that but I was a little skeptical about this address because on my satellite it says uh, it's like 28th Street and on the GPS it keeps saying it's Avenue and so I called them up and they said yeah that is Avenue so I guess uh, this patch has got uh, that part wrong. Everything else is correct. It's only the uh, street is mixed up with Avenue. So, so we do know we are going to the right location. Now the hard part is just getting through all of that traffic. That's going to be the hard part. <laughs> but yeah, we'll try and make our way in there now. We got about 49 miles to go. It'll take us about an hour to get in there. At the best of times, you know, it might even take us a little longer yet. We don't know yet. Depends on the traffic, right? I mean, Google could be a little off too with the rush hour traffic. So by the time I get into that area, it might be a little less than what it's saying right now, right? I mean, it's already 9 o'clock in the morning. And generally, I would like to leave a little earlier than that, but hey kind of said that yesterday already that uh, we'll keep an eye on the traffic there and we'll probably go in a little bit later but I figured you know if I could get in there maybe for 10 o'clock or maybe 10 30 what depending on the traffic then uh, hopefully I can get me loaded by 12 or 1 o'clock so that way I can get out of there before the bad rush hour starts again in the afternoon so that would be kind of nice and at least I get me a few miles in today. As soon as I'm out of Dallas, I'll be good to go anyway. So I mean, after that, I'm pretty much home free, you know. I mean, I would have Oklahoma City yet, but that's a few hours away. So by the time I get down to Oklahoma City, it, I don't know. I, I would have to look at it and see how many hours that is. But I might be in rush hour in Oklahoma City then. But <laughs> same that you can't win, right? And maybe I'll just, you know park somewhere before Oklahoma City and just wait for a little bit till we can get to Oklahoma City, right? But Oklahoma City ain't too bad generally. Dallas, Dallas is way worse than Oklahoma City, so so yeah, let's make our way in there and wish us luck, guys. We need it. Here we go, guys. We are now in towards the more downtownish area up in Dallas. Yeah, we're taking our ramp here to go on to 635 westbound. Yeah, it's a bit heavy traffic up here, a little bit of a backup, and that's kind of what I saw earlier. That's what we could expect, and uh, here we are. So, but yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys these big overpasses here a little bit, and show you on how high we drive up here. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to do there, four-wheeler? You think this lane is faster? <laughs> yeah, well... I'm not too sure uh, exactly where we're going, but, well, I have the GPS set. I even have Google, Google Maps set on my phone, so that way that one can uh, also tell me on where we're going, so that way I have two of them. That way we should not get lost, but I mean, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I looked it up on the on my computer and everything. Shouldn't be too bad, but and you 
then again, you never know. Dallas is big, very big. So it's very easy to get lost in here, that's a fact. But anyways, we'll slowly make our way towards our pickup. Dispatch already sent me a message too. Like, What's your ETA to get up there? Well, I'm thinking one hour, but hey, I don't know. I already purposely left a little later because this I knew this was going to happen. It would have been even crazier earlier this morning yet, so I wasn't going to do that. I'm going to try and get into the left lane there. It looks like this right lane is going to be exiting, so... So yeah, I'm gonna try and get into this left lane here. Here we go, we managed to make it happen. Yeah, well. Here we go, looks like even back up over here too, right? We gotta go seven Continue miles on, on For here. Seven miles. Well, we got a total of 16 miles yet, so. Yeah, it is back up over here, that's a fact. Anyways, we'll get out of here and then uh, we'll show you some more goodies later on. Well guys, we've been sitting here now for three and a half hours waiting to get loaded. And apparently this place doesn't start loading till after lunch. That's what they were saying and apparently the person uh, scheduling these trucks in there didn't tell nobody or they didn't schedule them right or something like that so uh, therefore the product was not ready and no way to wait yeah that's the way it is but hey i've been sitting there i even finished watching me a movie on the computer already just waiting to get loaded over here and and then I was gonna go take me a nap, I was getting tired, and as soon as I lay down on the bed, like 10 minutes later, they start moving in my truck, so here we are, we're finally getting loaded, but yeah, that's the way it is. Hopefully we'll still be uh, able to get out of here. Well, I say by two o'clock, I think I should be able to get out of here. I mean, they're, they're moving in my truck pretty steadily, so should be able to get out of here probably by two o'clock, if that's the case then I think I should be able to get out of here before the bad rush hour starts. That's a plan anyways. We'll see if that works, right? We have finally gotten loaded, ladies and gentlemen. After about three and three quarter hours, we finally got her loaded there. To the right on TX 121 North. Yeah, it's still early enough to where I think the traffic shouldn't be too terribly bad. The weight is not uh, too bad either, so... Uh, so yeah, looks like we're uh, gonna be good. That's from what it looks like anyways. We'll see how uh, how good it really is. But In 0 0.2 miles, keep to the right on TX-121 North, and then keep right. to the left in 0 0.2 miles. Oh, well, we gotta find our way out of here. Yeah, I gotta find our way down to I-35. I think we're gonna go to uh, I-35 e. 1,000 feet, keep to the left on TX-121 North FM 2499 North Grapevine Mills Parkway. Anything old, RJ? Right in 0 0.7 miles. All right, all right, you done yet? Okay. Yeah, anyways, now we're going to put the hammer down. Luckily, it's not a super heavy load, so we're happy, happy, in happy. Half mile, keep to the right on TX-121 North. All right, we'll do that then. Yeah, not a few miles to go up till we get to the I-35E. E, and then we'll uh, take that over to the I-35. And then we'll be out of Dallas. Now we're pretty much on the north side anyway, so it should, we shouldn't have to in drive too far miles, keep to the right in the uh, Dallas north. area, you know. But yeah, we're finally out of here. I guess we got to slow down a little bit to take this ramp here. In order to get to... 121 yeah we don't want to flip the truck right in 2.5 miles keep to the left on tx 121 north denton tab road i already looked it up to see how far it is to the uh, border that i want to cross at and it looks like it's going to be 1314 miles from where i left where i got loaded so uh 
looks like it's going to be a little bit over two days so if we drive a, about 100 or 120 miles today we should have no problem making it across the border on Thursday so that would be awesome 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 but we're going to try and get a bit more than 120 miles in today that's the plan anyways yeah so that way uh that way it's a little easier to get across the border on Thursday and that also leaves us with a little bit more in Canada as well so that way we can get a little closer towards uh, towards Edmonton and I already calculated it out I would have just enough hours to uh, to get to Edmonton and if they give me a reload straight home from there I'll have just enough hours to make it home by Saturday night and if I don't, I have to have Sunday off, like I explained the other day to you guys. So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to be putting the hammer down. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. But anyways, let's get on down out of Dallas, and then we'll uh, show you our rest of our day. We are back in Oklahoma. Yes, indeed. We've just been given there now since we got our load on. Yeah, we want to get as far as we can today. That's the plan anyways. And we do have a pretty good scenery up here, I think, anyways. So, uh, so yeah. Way station ahead. Way station ahead? What are you telling me that for? We don't need a way station up here. I'm light. What are you trying to do to me? Anyways. Yeah. Looks like it is a little bit dry out here today, yeah. Up the weeks we were out here, it was nice and wet, and the grass was nice and green, and now all of a sudden it looks pretty dry. Mind you, with the temperature that we have right now, I w I'm not surprised that it is very, very dry out here. It does not surprise me one little bit. I mean, my truck is showing me 38 degrees Celsius right now. Now, it probably is degree, uh, one degree hotter than what it actually is. It's probably only 36, maybe 37 degrees, but still, that is very hot. And I'm very impressed with my APU unit there. Earlier when I was getting loaded there, you know, everything heats up even more. And uh, APU unit was doing a great job keeping me cool. I was very impressed with it. Yes, indeed I was. But here we are, just cruising right along I-35 northbound. About another hour and 10 minutes or so till we will be hitting that Oklahoma City. So I think we should be hitting that just as the rush hour is starting to slow down. So we might not have to uh, take time off over there or whatever. So. We might actually be a-okay. But I might stop in there and just fuel up, make sure we got a full tank of fuel. Because the fuel is a lot cheaper up here in Oklahoma than it is further north. So we might pull in there and just fuel up anyways. But we'll see when we get there, right? I know I've shown this part before on videos, but uh, I don't go here very often. So I figure, yeah, I'll show this again. And Especially for the newcomers that we have on, on board here now. We got quite a few new subscribers. You guys probably have never seen this before, so may as well show it, right? That was the plan anyway, so we'll get down down the road here and we'll see if a chicken coop is open today. We call it chicken coop, but it's actually a DOT scale. I smell smoke. So it smells like a fire somewhere. Doesn't smell like a uh, truck fire or anything like that, but it smells like somebody is burning something. But anyways, we'll go on, continue on cruising along here. And appreciate you guys tuning in today and watching me so far. Well, the chicken house is open up here, and it looks like they got a long lineup over here too. This almost makes it dangerous. Yeah. Look at this long lineup up here up the ramp. That is not good. 
That ramp is going to be full here in a minute or two. We got more and more trucks coming up behind us, so... So yeah, <laughs> that's not looking so good. But we'll go see if they want anything from us or not. All right, guys, now we are in the line. So let's see if they got anything to say about us. So far, so good. We got a lady, looks like a lady, no? That almost looks like a lady in there, but I can't quite tell. But anyways, we got a DOT in there, that's for sure. So far it's green. Well, now I can't see the light anymore. <laughs> I guess they would have to say something over the speaker, right? So far everything is quiet. We opened up the window, so... I don't hear nothing. So I guess that means we can go. So we'll close our window before all the hot air comes in here. It is super, super hot. Yeah, that is a fact. So let's get out of here before they change their mind. I got a truck stop coming up here in about 3.5 miles, guys. So I'm thinking about pulling in there and uh, I'm kind of thinking about stopping in there. I mean, it's only 6.54 right now. So, I mean, it's still fairly early, but at the same time, I do have to stop and use the bathroom here, so, and I kind of want to find out and see if the internet will work over here. So, if the internet does work over here, I might actually just spend the night over here, because I really want to upload a couple of videos yet. Don't necessarily have to do it before Thursday evening or something like that, but I just like to have them up little earlier so we'll see if the internet will actually work over here if it actually does work I might just spend the night over here and I already looked on my GPS there to see how far it is uh, to uh, my next stop or where I can find a parking spot we actually got about 600 miles down the road there is a truck stop if I don't stop there it would be 689 miles so I can't quite do 689 miles but I can do easily 600 miles, so in between there, there ain't nothing there, so... Kind of between, between a hard place and a rock, or whatever you want to call it, how that saying goes. Should I stop here, or should I continue, right? So I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to continue on driving a little bit later or not, so we'll see. We'll see. I kind of wouldn't mind just stopping now. And then just get up early in the morning and get going, but we'll see. We'll see what we will do. We'll see if I make my mind up once we stop over here, but... I can already see the uh, truck stop up there, and I know they got a dairy cream in here. And it's super hot out here, and I wouldn't mind having on me a nice dairy cream ice cream. I was here with my son the other day, and this is the same place where we helped... Uh, a four-wheeler uh, boost this uh, camper there a little bit so he could pull in the sides there on the camper, right? But yeah, so we might be done here in a few minutes. We might be. I don't know for sure yet. I know there's a bunch of truck stops or a few truck stops down the road and I know there's quite a few rest areas up there on the turnpike into Kansas there I know we have to go into Kansas here in a little bit so I might continue on I might just go in here and get me an ice cream use the bathroom find out about the internet if the internet works if the internet works it's probably a good likelihood that I'll be spending the night here but if it don't then I'll continue on because then uh, I'm thinking about it anyways so we'll go in here and we'll find out I guess so let's go in here and let's see what happens right you guys will find out in a minute too because on the video it's only a few seconds from the time I decide to take okay if I close the video off for the day or not right? right in zero point and up here I know there's always lots of parking here so I don't generally have to worry about finding me a parking spot here but I was already looking down there down the road there at that uh, loves there's a loves down the road and that loves was already full in 0 0.2 according miles to the app, right so Baker. okay 15 so yeah. and then approaching destination on I the right we'll side see. in 450 feet i might try to go up to the rest area out there in kansas yet we'll see but anyways we'll find out right well guys 
as you can see I'm still sitting here in my truck yes indeed I am <laughs> and uh, we did decide to stop at this uh, I guess Philly 66 truck stop or whatever you want to call it and uh, well you guys saw me trying to pull in over here and uh, yeah we had lots of parking in here and uh, not too far away from the building but uh, internet is still a little iffy but uh, you know what I decided since I'm stopped here anyways may as well just call it a day and be done with it and get out of here early in the morning so that's what we're doing I already uh, went inside had me a bite to eat had me a nice uh, blizzard I mean uh, banana split is what I meant to say yeah so now we're gonna go to bed here in a few minutes and we'll get up early in the morning we'll get out of here so thanks for watching guys be sure to check back tomorrow don't go nowhere this is trucker Rudy signing out it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come